In this video, we will import the chassis to ANSYS Mechanical, apply the loads and boundary conditions and then look at the resulting stress and deformation contours. On the Model tab, right-click and Edit. The geometry is automatically imported into the solver. Inside the Geometry tab, click on the extracted beam, highlighting the members within the model. In the Materials tab, exist the two materials which can be added. Click on the extracted beam, go to the Assignment tab and change material to Structural Steel Alloy. Within the Cross Sections tab, confirm the beam profile added to the members. For meshing, right-click on the Mesh tab and select Generate Mesh. In this case, the default ANSYS mesh has been applied, after conducting a mesh independence study. Here, a more denser mesh would increase the computational time, without any change in results. Therefore, default mesh is sufficient for this analysis. The first crash simulation is the frontal impact test. The vehicle is considered to be traveling at its maximum speed, and comes to a sudden halt as it impacts a stationary wall. Therefore, an impact force is applied on the front members, and the fire wall behind the driver is fixed. Go to the Static Structural tab and rename it to Frontal Impact Test. Right-click on the same tab and insert a force. Click on the Line Selection tool and select the frontal chassis members. If there is no front horizontal member on the chassis, apply force equal to one-fourth of the total force on the four front nodes of the frame. Change the defined by to components, with 33,000 newton in the Z. The red arrow in the model shows the direction of applied force. To add the supports, right-click on the frontal impact test and insert fixed support. Using the vertex selection tool select the four vertices. In the Solutions tab change the beam selection results to Yes. Right-click on Solutions tab, insert Total Deformation and Equivalent Von Mises Stress. In the Solutions tab, right-click and Solve. Once the solver is complete, inspect the deformation contour. Click on the Animate button to visualize the displacements. The equivalent stress contours showcase a maximum stress of 464 MPa. Click on the min and max probe to locate their respective locations. The animation shows the stress flow in the model during the impact. In the side impact crash analysis, the chassis is aligned sideways relative to the incoming vehicle. In real world there would be some impact energy absorbed by the suspensions and the wheels, but to consider worst case scenario they have not been added. From the new analysis tab, insert a static structural system. Rename it side impact test. The force will be applied to the side members, and the opposite side is fixed. Right-click on the Side Impact Test tab and insert force. Select all the outer members of the chassis and click on Apply. Defined by components, with minus 13,720 newton in the X direction, and insert fixed supports on the opposite side.
click on Side Impact Test to check the location of boundary conditions. In the Solutions tab change the beam selection results to Yes. Right-click on the Solution tab, insert total deformation and von Mises stress contours, and solve the model. The total deformation contour shows the displacement of each member. Similarly, the locations of high stress concentration can be seen in the Equivalent Stress tab. In this way, the chassis can be analyzed for the side impact test. In the next part, we will simulate the other three loading conditions. Thanks for watching.